So yeah, we're here with uh, Jennifer, Car Jennifer Carmichael of John Cockrell. Um, so Jennifer, uh, could you give some background to yourself and uh, John Cockrell's role in the hydrogen value chain? Sure, absolutely. I'm the Vice President of Business Development and Sales uh, for North America at John Cockrell Hydrogen. Uh, my background actually comes from the oil and gas industry, so much like the technology and the energy itself, I too have transitioned uh, from oil and gas now into uh, to, to green hydrogen. Um, and, uh, you know, John Cockrell, we're a large company, we've been around for over 200 years, um, really founded on the mission of, of meeting the needs uh, of our time, and there have been a lot of different needs over 200 years, but uh, today that's why John Cockrell is here uh, heavily focused on uh, the advancement and the transition to, uh, to hydrogen, uh, specifically here in North America and in the United States. Um, so John Cockrell manufactures and delivers uh, the electrolyzer equipment uh, that is used to produce hydrogen through water electrolysis for large-scale green hydrogen projects. Okay, thank you. And so we're in the third day here at World Hydrogen North America. What's really been the buzz for you at this conference? I think, uh, I think really the topic that's just in the front of everyone's mind is the final release of 45B. I think all of us here uh, at this event and in the, the hydrogen value chain in the U.S. are very eagerly awaiting the release, um, the final release of 45B. Um, and, you know, there is a bit of angst and maybe even some frustration um, uh, on this long-awaited final release. But also I think that uh, we've been given a unique opportunity all of us to go back and to reevaluate, make sure that we've looked at all of the different technical options that we have really fine-tuned and refined our strategy to roll out and take that next step for these uh, these projects to go into operation. And honestly, I think that it's been the gift of time also that we've been given while we're sort of placed in this holding pattern. So when the final release does come out, very soon, hopefully, uh, we're all uh, best prepared for a very successful rollout for hydrogen here in North America and uh, globally as well, because I'm sure we'll learn a lot of lessons from, from what we do here first in the U.S. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you for your time, Jennifer.